And welcome to day number 31 of the Atlantic Ocean season, day 49 in the Eastern Pacific. It's, it's July the 1st, the first day of July 2013, and we currently have two storms active at the moment. Uh, Tropical Storm Delilah in the Eastern Pacific, still moving towards the north-northwest, uh, north-northwesterly direction. And a Tropical Storm Rumbia in the Western Pacific, that's moving off to the northwest as well, in the South China Sea at the moment. We also have one Invest active, uh, that's indicated on the map there near Palau, Invest 90W, and that's likely to continue towards the west at the moment over the next day or two um, and of course the two systems tropical storm rumbia the philippine name gorio moving away from the philippines now the main threat to the philippines is over from the storm and tropical storm delilah worthy threat is just beginning for the uh, southwestern mexico coastline where we have warnings in effect there at the moment looking at the atlantic ocean things fairly quiet here now there were two tropical waves, but the National Hurricane Centre had near 0%. They've uh, completely removed those uh, in the past 12 hours, so um, nothing of interest anymore in the Atlantic. And in the Indian Ocean, things fairly quiet here as well, uh, nothing of interest. You can see uh, a few clouds um, in, the northern, in, the, in Bay of Bengal um, and in the northern half of the uh, Indian Ocean there. You see some systems, but certainly nothing that is uh, of threat to develop over the next um, three days, two, three days or so. Looking at the sea surface temperatures, then the coast near Mexico, which is where Delilah is headed, is particularly warm, around 30 degrees. The Gulf of Mexico as well, um, most of it now is around 30 degrees Celsius, the water temperatures, which is pretty warm for tropical systems to form in. Um, and same too for the uh, uh, area around the Philippines into the South China Sea, where the uh, current storm Rumbia is right now, 30 degree water is extending quite a little bit um, away from the Philippine Islands. Um, and here it is, Tropical Storm Rumbia, currently with winds of 50 miles per hour, a pressure of 989 millibars, current position 14.2 north, 121.3 east. All warnings in the Philippines have been um, lifted now and the storm is expected to strike China in around 24 hours as a moderate, perhaps a strong tropical storm approaching typhoon strength, but probably not becoming a typhoon unless it really does some rapid intensification over the next 12 to 24 hours. And the storm is likely to weaken to a tropical depression as it moves over land and then ultimately dissipate. Um, in, in around two days time. Tropical Storm Delilah has a bit more of a future of heavy at the moment. Currently the wind speeds are 45 miles per hour, strengthened slightly in, in the past six hours. Pressure is 1001 millibars, position 16.5 north, 104.1 west, expected to curve ever so slowly towards the, um, towards the west and that will means it will make its closest approach to the Mexican coastline around um, overnight Monday coming into Tuesday morning. That will probably happen local time. Um, and of course warnings are in effect, tropical storm warnings in effect from Punta San Telmo to La Fortuna in Mexico and tropical storm watches from La Fortuna northwards to Cabo Corrientes in Mexico as well. That's the current situation with Delilah there. Uh, looking at the eastern Pacific as a whole then, um, obviously we have the remnants of Cosme still going over to the east, obviously no threat to land or indeed anywhere else. Um, and of course Delilah appearing um, on the imagery towards the right there, approaching the Mexican coastline, moving towards the northwest clouds. A few clouds associated with the system moving over land, but the main um, part of the storm is certainly nowhere near land yet. Looking at the western Pacific then, here's uh, Tropical Storm Rumbia moving off to the northwest there in that screen. You can see Investor 90 coming in from the right hand side there near the, near the island of Palau. Um, in the last frames there you can see it approaching the Philippines and of course Rumbia there heading towards China no clouds associated with the storms moved over that area yet but that's likely to happen in the next day looking at the forecast models then uh, first of all the CMC model has um, Delilah moving off to the northwest pretty much as it's forecasted and then moving towards the south a bit of a southward heading towards the end of that as it dissipates and another system following behind that perhaps reaching hurricane strength but probably not affecting land according to that one the ECMWF also has something similar as a matter of fact with another storm moving in after Delilah at the end there um, it doesn't predict much of a future for Delilah either um, at the moment over the next uh, two or three days it probably won't last much longer according to the east end we've put an interesting storm forming after that nonetheless the gfs model has delilah moving towards the north first of all near the mexican coastline then dipping to the south and then off to the west and again another storm behind that one perhaps reaching hurricane strands it moves off to the northwest possibly affecting land the navgem model 
has Delilah sticking around a little while near the Mexican coastline before moving southwards, dipping to the south again and moving off to the northwest. Another system behind that again. The GFDL actually something similar. Um, tropical storm moving past Cabo Corrientes and then moving, dipping towards the southwest and then moving back in a zigzag fashion really towards the northwest. Um, and the HWRF has uh, something a little bit similar, at least at the beginning, and then it moves towards the southwest with the next system perhaps pushing it towards the west. Um, as that one forms, it looks like a much broader system according to the HWRF model there. Looking at the overall predictor season scores then for July the 1st, uh, currently um, Ken in first place still with 101, Typhoon Belper with 92 in second place and Herkin Melissa 20 in third place with 90 points, a few people dropping points, uh, one or two perhaps even gaining points with the um, formation of Delilah in the past day, that's obviously changed things, if either Storm at the moment becomes uh, hurricane strength then uh, things will change once more and scores again will go up and down that will be reflected in the next tropical weather bulletin you can submit your old totals at the four star team website it's certainly not too late at this stage but i'd be getting on with it if i were you because time is pressing and points do drop as time goes on so what happened on this day then july the first 1966 tropical storm becky formed in the atlantic in 1973 tropical storm alice also formed in the atlantic in 1980 tropical storm derby pictured before formed in the eastern pacific and in 1981 tropical storm brett also pictured there made landfall in virginia causing uh, a single fatality in 1981. In 1982 tropical storm Carlotta formed in the eastern pacific that's pictured there. In 1996 typhoon uh, tropical storm Christina formed in the eastern pacific and in 2001 typhoon Durian made landfall in china as a category one typhoon resulting in 78 fatalities and 450 million dollars in uh, costs and damages along its path. Um, that's what happened in 2001. Also, 2002, Tropical Storm Chatan moved away from Micronesia after causing 48 fatalities and $100 million in damages on the islands. In 2004, Typhoon Minjul made landfall in Taiwan and then China, causing a total of 56 fatalities and $833 million in damage. Hokan Alex made landfall in Mexico as a Category 2 storm, 51 fatalities and nearly $2 billion in damages. And in 2011, Tropical Storm Arlene dissipated on this day, due July the 1st. And don't forget you can track any storm that forms, including the two storms that we have active at the moment, Delilah and Mumbia, at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking. That takes you straight to the storm tracking pages where um, you can uh, have the overview, there's the overview page which shows the uh, overview map and of course the tables which show which storms are active and what warnings are in effect at a glance. And then you can go more in depth if you're interested in a particular region to um, then you can go basin by basin to see what storms active, the tracking maps and indeed um, any information and warnings as they become relevant and indeed they are relevant perhaps in both instances at the moment of course with the tropical storm warnings in effect from um, tropical storm Delilah at the moment and don't forget you can uh, follow force 13 on any of the uh, social outlets youtube facebook and twitter on all three of those just search force 13 you should find us fairly easily enough and don't forget to show your support we like support by uh, liking following subscribing favoriting um, commenting and anything else that may come to mind that i may have missed out there and um, if you do send in comments on the youtube channel um, i will reply if you have any questions or anything to that effect um, please do i'd love to hear from you uh, the next update will be coming in um, the next tropical weather bulletin number 33 that will be uh, midnight july the second utc um, and there'll probably be updates just like there have been today um, on both storms during the day on july the first um, utc of course that's universal time but that's it for the time being